Did you know that you can take any front-end JavaScript application that you have running locally and debug that within VS Code without installing any extensions? Well, that is what we will look at in this lesson, so let's go. Now you can use any web application that you want for this particular process that we are going to show. However, I'm just using Create React App, just creating a new one in front of you so that you know that there's nothing up my sleeve. Now the only requirement in order to use VS Code to debug your front-end application is that you should have that application's source code open within VS Code. And the other requirement is that if you are using something like TypeScript or something else that compiles into JavaScript, you should have the source map enabled for your compilation process. And this will be true for most application starter kits that you will use nowadays. Now, once you have the application open within VS Code, start it as you would normally would. For example, the Create React app will be start by running npm start on the terminal. And this starts our local development server on a particular port. And for Create React app, this starts on localhost 3000. Now, before we continue, just copy down this path because that is what we will use to attach and debug our application within the browser. Now go into the debug panel within VS Code and select run and debug. This gives you the option of the built-in debuggers that ship with VS Code and the one that we want to use is Chrome. Once we click that, VS Code creates this launch.json file with the configuration already in place to launch Chrome and start debugging it. The only thing that we have to modify over here is the URL, which we will replace with the URL that our application is actually running on. And that's the extent of the configuration that you need. Once this is done, we can start debugging our application within Chrome by either pressing F5 or by pressing the play button in the debug panel. This will launch a new instance of Chrome and attach the VS Code debugger so that we can start debugging our application. Now let's jump back to VS Code and make a simple modification to our code to demonstrate the debugging workflow. We open up our main application source file, which is app.tsx. Within this file, we will create a simple function that will be invoked when we click the main root app div. This function we're going to call onClick and this will simply log hello to the console. And in order to invoke this function, we are going to wire it to the onClick handler on the root application div so we can click anywhere within that application. With this done, we open up the application within the browser, click anywhere within the root application and then jump back to our IDE and you can see within the debug console, the two console log messages that we added to the app component. Now, of course, getting your console messages is great, but one key feature of debugging your application is the ability to create a breakpoint within your application to observe its behavior at runtime. So we create a breakpoint on the console.log statement by clicking in the sidebar within VS Code. And now when we jump back to our application and click somewhere, VS Code triggers that breakpoint and we can see our application executing within VS Code. Whenever you are done with debugging your application, simply click the stop button at the top of the IDE. Now, one final thing worth mentioning is that you should commit this launch.json within your source code repository so that other people that are also using VS Code with your particular project can also use this debugging feature. And of course, as always, I will leave a link to this particular project on GitHub down in the video description so you can just clone it and play around with it without having to set all of this up yourself. More and more people are using VS Code nowadays, and it's just great to see that you no longer need to use an extension for a lot of the features that VS Code provides. And that's all for this lesson. Smash that like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.